Hey, what's up guys? Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another episode of Peak Bites. My name is Lucas. In today's episode of Peak Bites, we talk about some fun facts about the University of Utah women's gymnastics team and check in with spring skiing at Snowbird. Also, Nick fills us in on the Ogden bouldering field and he talks about a cool kinetic sculpture at the mark. Let's get into it. We mentioned it last week, but the University of Utah women's gymnastics team is heading to Fort Worth, Texas for the NCAA championships. I wanted to share some fun facts on our powerhouse Utah women's gymnastics teams before they head out for their biggest meet of the season. Utah is the only school to qualify for all 38 NCAA national championships and is making a record 44th consecutive trip to nationals dating back to 1976. The Utes have won nine NCAA championships and 10 total national titles. Utah has finished as the NCAA runner-up eight times, most recently in 2015. 2016 USA Olympic alternate Michaela Skinner is a two-time NCAA champion, winning the floor title in 2017 and the vault title in 2018. Also, Utah has four All-Americans on its current squad. Michaela Skinner, McKenna Merrill-Giles, Carrie Lee, Missy Ronstalder, and Sydney Solowski. We wish the Utes the best of luck as they head into their 44th NCAA championship. Winter might be over, but up in Little Cottonwood Canyon, Snowbird has the longest season in Utah, just hitting over 630 inches of snow. Snowbird Resort has had one of the best seasons in recent memory and holds the only aerial tram in the state of Utah, one of my personal favorites about the resort. Like our very own Deer Valley Resort, Snowbird is also on the new Icon Pass. If you buy the full Icon Pass, you are granted seven days at Alta Snowbird Resort, and if you buy the Icon Base Pass, you are allotted five days. Perhaps the most infamous zone at Snowbird is the Cirque Traverse that runs along the top of the mountain at 11,000 feet. The terrain is essentially all fair game up here and invites riders to shred anything they want as long as it's within their ability. Snowbird is open all the way through Memorial Day and if you buy a season pass for next year, you're able to ski the rest of the spring season for free. If you couldn't make it up to Ogden last weekend for the Ogden Climbing Festival, well don't worry because the rocks are still there. And this is a great time to head up there before the weather starts to get really hot. The Ogden Boulder Field is located just on the East Bench at the very top of 22nd Street. From there you can take the trailhead to a short walk that leads to a ton of boulders. And one of my favorite boulders there that offers a great variety of boulder problems is the Tooth. And in addition to a variety of problems, the Tooth Boulder also offers some cool geology and a variety of rock types as well. You can go ahead and search online for Ogden Boulder Field to find out more information and see when the best time is for you to get your climb on. If you haven't been to The Mark in Park City recently, then now is the time to go. For those of you who haven't been, The Mark is Park City's Municipal Athletic and Recreation Center. And in addition to some of the great facilities there, including aquatics and a full gym, they also have a great new kinetic sculpture. The installation, titled Gravity in Gear, is the perfect marriage between fitness and art. The entire sculpture is also man-powered by a small cycle that you can use yourself. The sculpture was created by students in the PC Caps program, and they used almost entirely recycled sports materials for the project. You can search PC Mark online for more information and to see the best times for you to put the sculpture in motion. You can search PC Mark online for more information and to see the best times for you to put the sculpture in motion. The Park City Miners men's lacrosse team is in the thick of their season and unfortunately lost last week to Olympus High School. The Miners face off against Judge Memorial High School on Thursday night where they beat them with a score of 18 to 1. The Miners were in control all game long and face off against American Fork High School tonight at 7.30 at Park City High School. The men's soccer team also has a huge week ahead of them as they have three consecutive games Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The men's soccer team is currently 3-4-1 so they haven't had the best start to their season, but hopefully they can pull out three big wins this week and get back on track. We will have more coverage on Park City High School spring sports all season long, so stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Peak Bites, and we'll be back with more of your favorite web show this Thursday. If you just can't wait until Thursday, you can get more Park City television tomorrow morning, starting with Street Views at 7 a.m., followed by Mountain Connections at 8. As always, you can follow us on all of our social media at Park City TV, where we post fresh stories from around the community. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>